on the last day of 2020, one of the worst years in at least my lifetime, we finally have something good to share about the year and that's scope joining phase. It was one of the coolest things I've seen on Twitch from my personal experience, something that Honestly, I felt a part of just watching. It's like I was witnessing history in the making. For those of you who didn't get to watch it live, it was honestly so awesome. It seems like every person in the sniping and montage scene and montage community put down the controller for a second and actually just sat and watched him live on stream. It was a roller coaster of emotions. For those of you who missed all of it, I actually uploaded the full reaction from him on stream uh, yesterday, so you can go watch that video. But for those of you who already seen it or watched it live, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The feeling that just like pure anxiety, just waiting for it to be called, and they eventually announced it, and it was not him, it was King. Don't react, I'm not looking, dude, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. He fucking did it. Before they even announced it, he said, like, man, even if I don't make it, you know, this is not the end, I'm still gonna try. Like, this dude has been grinding forever. Like, it's, he's literally the pure form of the Call of Duty grind. I remember watching his streams back in 2016 when he was playing, like, Modern Warfare Remastered, all the uh, newer games, and, you know, they were not getting a lot of, uh, you know, back from the Call of Duty community. No one really liked them, but he stuck with them all the years, even the bad ones that, you know, no one really liked to snipe on. He is like the truest form of the grind and what that means and just him finally joining FaZe was crazy. They really pulled the old trickery. They announced King and you can just tell everyone in the chat, everyone including himself, were kind of upset but he just kept his composure. He didn't say one negative thing the whole time. He didn't cry on stream. He didn't cuss. He didn't scream he literally just sat there and just said congratulations and then after all they obviously they threw a little loop-de-loop -loop and just put us on another 10 minute stream 10 minute wait for the next uh a special announcement <laughs> oh shit dude we all kind of had that feeling that it could be him, but we're all skeptical because honestly, dude, it's FaZe Clan. They haven't really done anything with sniping or Call of Duty in years. We kind of all lost hope in them years ago in the sniping community, but man, did they really do something big for this year. But that wasn't the truth, man. They actually do care and they actually do listen to the community, which is unlike a lot of things. I know in the past they haven't for, you know, most of the time, but hey, man, they actually listened and they actually like went through and it was the coolest thing ever. Seeing his reaction, the whole buildup and everything was just so amazing to watch live. And I think we all can agree that this was one of the best things to happen in the year 2020. And Scope kept the stream going all night until the new year, and I had to go to work, but I kept watching and tuning in throughout the day, and even at new year at 12, when a clock hit midnight, uh, I, f I tuned in and watched his stream still. It was an amazing feeling, man. It put butterflies in my stomach waiting and watching, and uh, I just knew that, you know, all this buildup was not going in vain when they finally announced him. And honestly motivated me. I mean, we've watched this guy grow and, you know, just build his stream and his uh, community and his followers through all these years, through all the crappy games. We've just watched him from the start. It was just honestly motivating. And I think a lot of people felt that. The community felt that. And it's, uh, it's a great thing. And it honestly puts a good smile on my face and a good uh, motivating feeling going into the next year and you know getting stuff done that I want done in my personal life. I've never met Scope. I've never even talked to him. I've never had any interaction with him at all but uh, I really I really do you know 
really am happy for this guy and it's it's a weird feeling i've never <laughs> i've never spoken to him but i'm just genuinely happy for him and i think a lot of people feel the same way so going the new year i have a lot of things planned for myself for the uh channel for you know streams i might bring the podcast back i might do some more videos maybe do some more stuff with other people so definitely looking forward to that guys but uh, yeah 2020 ended on a high note which is crazy because I don't know. <laughs> it was a bad year for a lot of people, including myself. So, But I think good things happen to good people, and this was definitely a good thing. So big ups to Scope, big ups to FaZe, and yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. I'm always going to be streaming and, and creating like content it. every day, no doubt, but... Just want to do it with you. You really you know? thought, huh, Scoop?